Hi everybody and welcome uh, to another room tour. This one is room 201 in the York um, Hilton on Tower Street. And this is a double room with a view. Um, so as a Hilton Gold member, I booked a basic double room. Um, they kindly upgraded me, not a massive upgrade, but just a slight one. I think there's a, a couple of quid difference, not loads. But I thought I'd uh, give you a little look around. Bit of a change from the normal Vegas room videos but if anyone's coming to York might find this interesting so uh, of all the York hotels I've been into uh, sorry, all the Hilton hotels I've been in this one's probably one of the more basic ones but it's nice it's clean um, I I'm quite happy with the room um, so start off as you come in there's a big mirror on the door there obviously your usual kind of do not disturb sign um, light switches things like that when you come in um, then you've got an area here where you've got your hangers, plenty of hangers on the side. You've got your iron and your iron and board, your luggage rack, always useful. And down here, you've got a safe, which is great, um, just for my Vegas peeps. Golden Knights hat hanging up there. Um, then as you come in, you've got the main room. Um, so again, not, not a massive room, but big enough for me. Bit of artwork on the wall there, quite random. Um, I haven't stayed in the bed yet. I'm sure though, from experience with Hilton beds, it'll be absolutely fine. Alarm clock uh, over there. Don't know if there's any kind of docking ports or anything on there. Doesn't look like it. It's a basic alarm clock. Nice chair in front of the window with a little glass table. There. Then you've got a radiator along the wall here. Whether that works or not, I'm not sure because there is also a plug in radiator. Now, my guess would be that that one does work, but maybe it's turned off during the summer months. But obviously, some people feel the cold wave, so they give you a little plug in one as well, which, you know, it's nice enough of them. Um, so yeah, we'll come out, we've got like a desk area. I've plonked some of my stuff on there, but you see, nice big desk. Um, be able to set my laptop and stuff up on there. Above it, big mirror. Um, that was a complimentary bottle of water. You'll see behind it, there is some USBs and some plugs. And they have also give us a, um, a food menu, 24-7 room service menu which I mean that's better than Luxor I've got at the moment reading that they've pulled theirs um, obviously nice chair for the desk then you've got your telly under off, underneath the uh, tea and coffee facilities that pulled out that's nice oh little biscuit there one thing that was disappointing on check-in is normally Hilton you do get a really nice um, hazelnut chocolate chip cookie no sign of that this time whether that's not something they do here or not I don't know um, hair dryer in the drawer down there empty for you now where's the disappointment so I came in that cupboard perfect size for your fridge ventilated at the back I was like certain to be a fridge in here two tumblers so yeah I I'm guessing there should have been a fridge in there but doesn't look like they have them here, which is disappointing since I've got my beers there ready to go in. But you know, British will make do with warm beer. Um, okay, so we come over quite like this light on the wall here, and you've got your thermostat. Okay, I mean, one thing to say is this quite is quite an old building, you know, and a lot of the Yorks that the Hiltons have stayed in have been pretty modern. So it is expected that, you know, this one's probably not going to be up to, you know, the high levels of some of the other ones. But for what I paid for the night, I mean, it was about £120 a night, which, you know, is pretty pricey for some parts of the UK. But based on York, when I was looking at things like the Premier Inn and the Travel Lodge, it, it actually was pretty reasonable. So I, I can't complain too much. And, and I am quite happy, as I say, so far. I, I have literally just come into the room, but happy enough. So a black like marble top sink. Got your 
toiletries there. Okay, underneath you've got your bin, extra toilet roll, got a nice big mirror. The lighting's really good as well in here. Uh, obviously, blue roll, bits of Bob's tissues, things like that on the wall, and then you've got a pretty old school shower, but yeah, I'm sure it's fine. And for a hotel room, you've actually got quite a decent sized bath. Now, normally, you know, I'm six foot one in hotel rooms, I normally find that the bath, you know, my knees are up by my chin if I'm in the bath, so it's nice to uh, to have a pretty big bath in here. Uh, and then obviously, all your towels, things up there, and your shower curtain. Okay, so I mentioned at the beginning this was a um, a room with a view, and to be fair, that is probably one of the um, best things about the room. So let me just go on over here. Okay, so there you see, that is the view that you get from this room. Awesome, so you get a tower view from the room, which is perfect. So yeah, very, very happy with that. Um, hopefully the road's not going to be too noisy. I have read on TripAdvisor that it can get a bit noisy. Definitely to avoid the balcony suites. So yeah, hopefully it's not going to be too noisy in here. But anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this room tour. Um, hopefully there'll be more to come. I've got some more UK trips to come. Um, by the time this goes up, probably all my Vegas ones will be up. But I've still got a few more of them to post at the time of filming. But yeah, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.